there's the surprise. Jack Russell in for his first international match of the tour. Russell can't get there. That's away for four. And it'll be four wides. Going in, and this is the problem with the white ball. You don't quite get it right. It comes out of his wrist a little differently. He starts on the line to swing the ball back. In fact, it goes the other way. And Jack Russell can only... Do Up and over this time from Astor. There's a big nick, and he has to go. Well, the England bowlers probably think they deserve this. You can tell by the reaction, it's a straightforward big nick. Andy Carrick, he goes for 11, and 28 for 1. That's very straight. Carrick can't believe it. Steve Dunn said not out. That's up and over, mid-off. That's a better stroke. He's waited for the ball. Oh, and that's uh, some pretty poor fielding from uh, Andrew Carrick. He just ambled at that Carrick and then, uh, well, he missed it. Didn't even get a finger on it. It's a good shot. That's that area that uh, Fleming... That's a crashing stroke. Glorious. And he's got away with that. He's hit it hard as well and got another four. That's beaten the field as well. That was not a half volley. That's uh, beaten Atherton, who's the... Uh... Oh, that's well bowled. That has to be close and is out. Lovely bowling from Croft. First one went down the leg side. This one doesn't. And look at that drift in further. And that is absolutely well. In England, and New Zealand now 84 for two. Chris Cairns is right back on his stumps. His right leg is almost outside leg stump. He's expecting it short. And when it's pitched up and going away, he can't get himself into the right position. And gives Jack Russell. It's gone very fine. Croft won't get there. And 50 for Nathan Astle. He'd have liked to have brought it up with a blazing cover drive, but they all count. 51 not out. Seven boundaries. It's an excellent sweep. It's found the gap on the leg side behind square. That's pretty straight, and this time he's gone. So what Perore is bothered about here, that's hit him on the knee roll. He's gone nowhere on the crease. It's hitting middle and leg. New Zealand are 122 for four. Quickland prepares himself. Some tremendous habits. That's a very good stroke, and it's four. Caddick on again. And has been smashed straight back over his head. One bounce ball. There's a wide. Down the track again and heaved through mid wicket for four more. Swept away. Swept away fine and uh, that's edged and wide of Russell. And it's four. Sparing dive. Now that's probably one of the best shots you can play in one day cricket. You cannot set a field for it. Fantastic catch. Astle has missed out. Watch cricket for a long time and not see anything better than this. Atherton has to get quickly to his left, his weaker side, and down. That ball is dipping quickly. Nathan Astle, he's gone from 94. It's 197 for five. That's pretty straight and gone. Pointing test series with both gloves and bat. And another low score in this final one day international. Lou Jamon is uh, the sufferer on this occasion. It's 200 for six. Stewart's called for it. No gloves on today. He still takes the catch. Harris has gone for a very worthwhile 36. New Zealand now 206 for seven. Oh, that is out. Miles out. Well done, Robert Croft. Well done indeed. Terrific cricket from England to be so alert there. And Michael Morgan's off spin. Ball goes straight to Croft, he's in quickly, aims at the base of the stump, direct hit, Larson goes for a duck. Edge past Russell. Davis may well get back here. It's two off the last ball.
Stewart's strength. The bowler will feel aggrieved because he thinks it's been whipped off uh, middle and off. Now oh, he's almost chopped that one on. We'll get four for it. He is well playing a long way from his body. Four more to Stewart. Run, run. It's a good shot. That uh, could, when it gets onto the net wickets, run all the way. And it has done. It's raced away fine. No chance of stopping that. That's four more. Mid on, Stewart goes. So England are 43 for one. That's a better shot. That'll be four. Edge straight to where second slip would have been. The England 50 comes up. And uh, for this opening blast, it could be an argument for having a couple of slips in there. And perhaps taking the gully out. That's four more to Nasser Hussain. They hold up a little. little. Oh, brilliant work. Brilliant work. Swistles for a wiki. He was trying to use the leg side stunting. And that really is a smart piece of work. And that's what saying. Goes for 20. It's now 77 to 2. Thorpe's got it through. From Sky Sports. Try for the single. Have to be very quick. Steve Dunn is going to ask for the opinion of the third umpire. That the bail's off before the ball's got into uh, Jumon's gloves. Evidence been given out. England are 107 for three. Necessarily overlap. It's bold. Silverwood trying to hit Patel through the onside. Silverwood has gone for four. 119 for four England. Well, to be an edge there. Jumon's put it down. Himself room to cut the ball away on the offside, shimmying back, top edge, and uh, Jamon can't hang on to it. Well, you're going to get more from it sometimes oh, than an ill-applied good talent. It's a good talent from Crawley. Now, that's a piece of gap finding. Oh, that must be close, gone. Had to be gone. For this against Astor, actually, but this one's hurried through, and there's absolutely no doubt about that, I'm afraid. It's 136 for five, Crawley gone for 11. Of appeal, Jack Russell's given it. Let's just uh, look here. If there's any, there's only just a little bit. Russell has gone to two, 139 for six. Ah! Oh, that's a good shout and gone. Nathan Astle has become the destroyer for New Zealand. England, 139 for seven. Oh, man, man. Hold on. There's problems here. Croft has uh, sacrificed his wicket as Thorpe tumbled. It was actually excellent cricket by Croft, all right? There's been a mess up and hesitation. And Thorpe, the man in, slips, but Croft realised this and Robert Croft sacrificed himself for two. It's 158 grade. It's worked away by Thorpe. Patel's the man coming round. He can't get there. It's bounced just short and Thorpe gets two more. And that takes him through to 50. 51 not out for Graham Thorpe of 76 balls. Larson gets a wicket with his last ball. Graham Thorpe has gone. Well, Graham Thorpe side for caution to the wind. And that's well bowled. And England now 173 for nine. It's a good shot from Caddick. It's four. He's absolutely launched at that. And he's been caught by Stephen Fleming, and that ends the match. Heath Davis gets the last wicket. Darren Goff perishes. Caught out at deep extra cover. And New Zealand win by 28 runs to round off an excellent day for the home side.